And in this quick video, I wanted to show you how to create this cool hover state for links. It's very easy to do with Webflow interactions. So let me show you how that is made, okay? Okay, so we have here, we are in my, actually my website. And what I'm going to do is creating this effect with these links. Okay, so let's say I'm going to start with this one, the first one. And first of all, I'm going to be needing um, a link block um, because I want to wrap certain elements instead of that. So let me add a text here and another text. Um, let's call this project uh, something else. Project link. Um, project link to, well, I don't really like the name, but yeah, it's going to work for now. Let's choose another color. Let's choose white. And this is 1.5 RAM. So let's make the wrapper that size, 1.5 RAM. That's looking good. And the height should be something around 1.2. Yeah, um, a multiple of that. Uh, let's add the same name. It's going to be margins. Um, now let's put the same name here as well. This is all caps, and we have a little bit of letter spacing. So it will be all caps, a little bit of letter spacing like this. Now I have a very similar um, setup as I have in the other one. So also I can add a hover state with the opacity. That's going to help me. It's going to be 50% more or less around that. And now let's start with the magic. So here, uh, the first thing that I want to do is make the wrapper of, this, of the links to be overflow. We can use either hidden or we can use clip. Those two should work. And I want to apply kind of the same height that I have here. So the, he the height of the wrapper should be something similar of the height that uh, we have, I have in the second one. So with this, I have two elements. Right now, what I'm going to do is, uh, well, you get the idea, right? So let's now go into the interactions and let's create a hover state. This is going to be a um, link hover. And what it is going to be doing is that it's going to target with a move option targeting a child. In this case, I want to create actually another class for this element so we can target it. Uh, project link to text. So with this, I can target a class. Okay, let's call this hover. Now let's target this element. This should be moving from the bottom. It's going to be children. That's what I want. This should be minus 100%. I want it to be move up like this. Cool. But also I want to apply like an easing. Yes, that looks really good. So now the setup is mostly done. I just want to add like an exit, exit state. I can duplicate the same element that I created. And here I can just go and add 0%. Um, yeah, I think that's more or less it. Here I just want to make sure I don't have any other mistakes. Okay, that's good. So I can preview this. Sweet, works really well. So now you're wondering, okay, Carlos, so what if I have multiple links? So I have to change the name for all the names like dabbling, you know, changing the two names of my wrapper? The answer is no. So what you can actually do here is this really cool trick. Um, you may want to actually create a component of this element. So let's call this link, uh, link cover. Okay, that works. And I want to create a variable here. I want to create a property, sorry, a property that 
is going to be called, well, you know, whatever names works. But this second one is going to be linked to the one that I just created. So in other words, if I duplicate this one, and sorry, I forgot something else. We need an actual path. So I created a property for the path. Um, now, if I duplicate this, you're going to see that I have just one name. So, sorry, one field for text. The, the trick here is that you can add another text, the text that you want. Like it could be, I don't know, let's go with a classic apple.com. Yeah, so with this, if I preview that, so this works, but also this one works because I have the fields connected to the same property. Now that I have this, what I want to do now is add the, the hover state that I called at the beginning. So let's go to the actual element and let's go to the style. And here in the hover, when it is hovered, I want the opacity to go to 80%. Not fully 100 because it'll kind of is very, very, very bright. So just keeping things easy for the eyes. Um, now the transitions is the other element that I want to play with. In this case, it's going to be opacity. I can add something small, sorry, slow like this. And with previewing this, you can see that it's actually too slow. Let me figure another value. And 200 is going to do the trick better. Yes. So with this, you can create this really cool looking hover state with Wellflow native interactions.